All right, they came in. It's time to do a battery upgrade. They had a sale right now. These are the heated version of the Battleborn. So I've got about two kilowatts worth of power. Total weight is roughly around 60 pounds. I got them on sale right now for $1,800 directly from their site with free shipping. So we've got 100 amp hours at uh, 12 volts, which is basically 1200 watts. So let's just say 1000 watts. So 1000 watts and we've got two batteries. I am putting them in a 2019 Geo Pro. Now they did replace my charge controller in this. It's still the pulse width modulation, but it does support the lithium iron batteries. My understanding is, however, the converter that's in the camper obviously is not designed for these batteries. So my understanding is if you have a charge controller or converter that doesn't support these batteries, they're only gonna charge it to about 80%. I'm not worried about my converter because like I said, I do have solar on here, which could be used to top it off that other 20%. If you do have to replace the charge controller, however, in your Geo Pro, do not get a pulse width modulation charge controller. Spend the extra hundred bucks or so, they're not that expensive, and get a MPPT charge controller. It's a multi-powerpoint tracking charge controller that works with these types of batteries. Disconnect AC, let's disconnect the batteries. Now, I already made battery locks a long time ago for my batteries, and this is gonna be like the first time I've unlocked these things in two years. And then I just have these little clips to hold it together. All right, so you can find out about these locks. Just search my YouTube channel for battery locks, and you will see how I made these. So right off the bat, I screwed up. This is my fault. These aren't technically drop-in replacements. They're group 27 batteries. Every battery I've seen on the uh, RVs have not been, especially smaller ones at least, have not been group 27 batteries. They've been group 24. They ain't gonna fit on the front of this camper. Not two of them. You can get one, but not two. The battery boxes have to go. So just keep that in mind. Now I've got to figure out, am I gonna send one back? I have these interstate SRM24s, marine deep cycle. Well, these were rated at 81 amp hours, but of course you're only gonna get half of that. So we'll just say 40, and I had two of them, so 80. So one of these Battleborns would actually be the still more than I have right now with these and just be a better battery, but I really wouldn't be like getting a lot of extra reserve power compared to what I had when these batteries were brand new and that was just not enough. So I already know these battery boxes aren't gonna do me any good, so I'm gonna pull them off. So we're gonna change it to lithium. Hold A to save it. So now this charge controller thinks they're lithium. Let's do a simple test and see how things go. With just this one battery connected, I am going to turn the fan on. All the way. Now I'm gonna turn the inverter on. We've got Alexa running, we've got Wi-Fi running, radio's running, Roku's running, TV's running. Now we'll go ahead and turn the refrigerator on. So this will actually run the refrigerator. If you have the inverter on and you have the refrigerator on auto, which means it will use electric, it will actually run off the battery. So this will actually be sucking battery right now. So this refrigerator can run off the battery basically. Let's go ahead and put this fan on high. Let's start at every light. Let's turn the heat on. Now I don't actually have the propane on, 
So this will turn the heat on, but it won't actually heat the trailer, but it will actually still run the fan. Let's go ahead and plug a computer in. Here you go. Power is connected and plugged in right there. We've already gone down 0.4 volts. And the time is 4.44. Let's say I started this roughly about five minutes ago. It's actually been more than five minutes, but for everything to be on, we'll, we'll, we'll lean on the side of giving the batteries the benefit of the doubt. So we'll just say only five minutes ago did I get all this stuff turned on, even though I've been turning it on over the last 10 minutes or so. So let's see how it does. Again, we are at 13.1 volts now. Still only getting a half an amp from solar. All right, we're at 13 volts, 83%, and it is now 626. We're down to 17%. We're at eight o'clock. So basically we're just now a little over three hours. So it dropped pretty quickly. It was down to 11.2 volts and it turned off roughly about 20 minutes ago. It's 8.42, so we'll say basically about 8.20. So really we got about three and a half hours of battery life out of this 100 amp hour battery. I did just plug it back in. It's been plugged in now for about 10 minutes. We'll just say 35 after. We're back up to 12.2 volts. Okay, so this thing says it's charged 100% in about two hours. Um, I don't know how that could be a 50 amp converter. I don't see how that could have charged 100% in two hours. It's only at 13.2 volts. So what that means is what it thinks is 100% is 13.2 volts. So it's not really to 100%. This is probably gonna be about the 80% that they're talking about. It thinks that it's at 100% at 13.2 volts. So I'm not sure why the charge controller, however, says it's at 100% at 13.2 volts. Yeah, there's no reason this should be reading it's 100%. So I am gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna unplug it from the AC outside and see if that voltage drops. Yeah, so it's charged to 13.2 volts. I don't know why it says 100% here, because it shows it's not there. It's already actually dropped to 95. Uh, so basically it's charged about 80%, I would guess, is what that means. Pretty much everything was on. Literally everything, even, even the furnace was on but the gas was off so that that furnace fan was kicking on. So everything was running and you would never do that when you're running on a battery. But I just wanted to see what it would do. So now we're gonna be roughly at 80%. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the AC, but we're gonna pretend this would be like a normal night. We normally wouldn't leave this light on all night. And probably wouldn't leave all these lights on. I could see me running the TV. So I would turn the TV on. We'd have the Roku running. I'll leave the stereo off. Another reason I like these little LED lights is because they are remote controlled. So I would probably be running the LED lights. So I'd probably just run one light, the LED strip, the fan in the bathroom, a window open, TV on, Roku on, the internet would be on. So that would be what I would generally run if I wasn't worried about saving power. This is what I'd like to run. I'm winding down for the night, I'm boondocking, and I would like to get through the night. Uh, fall asleep with the TV on. I know it's not very practical, but this is what my goal is. I want to just see what it would take to do that. So I'm gonna go outside now and disconnect the power. This is now completely on battery with the fan going to keep it cool. It is right now 1147. We are going to see if this will get us through the night with one battery just being comfortable. Is it really enough just to be comfortable? Down to 92% already. 
Alright, let's pick a good movie. What's a good movie, guys? Yeah, it's been about, what, 20 minutes? I don't remember the exact time. You can look back at the video you just saw, but I think it was like 11.40, 11.45. So it's been about 20 minutes, and we are down to 85%. With the TV, Wi-Fi Ranger, Roku, and fan running, the battery was drained in a little over four hours. Now, I'm guessing I was only at about 80%. It might have been five hours. I did fall asleep. I was awake at the four hour point and then I fell asleep. So I don't know exactly where it shut off. So I'm just saying what if it felt shut off right after I went to sleep. So we'll just say four hours. It might have done a little better. Let's see how much power the refrigerator takes when it's running on the inverter. So all you do to run the refrigerator off DC voltage is just turn it on, make sure auto mode is on. If your inverter is on, it's gonna be running off your battery. Wow, 17 amps.